this video, I'm going to quickly assess the audio recording quality of Blackmagic's Ursa Mini 4.6K cinema camera. Now I'm doing this because I did hear reports or read reports from the field that the uh, microphone preamps and audio in general is um, not ideal. So it is something that I just need to test for myself. Now to do this, I'm using a Sennheiser 416 short shotgun. And in this first part of the test, we're feeding the shotgun directly into the camera using the camera's microphone preamps and uh, phantom power to record the signal. Now at this point, I don't have the ability to uh, split the microphone signal before it gets to a preamp to uh, do a direct A-B comparison to other recorders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a paragraph from a book and I'll read the same paragraph and we'll go back and forth um, between different recording devices. Okay, so here's the uh, paragraph. It was night again. The Waystone Inn lay in silence and it was a silence of three parts. All right, and now we're going to record the passage uh, with the sound devices 552. And in this particular example, I'm feeding a line level out of the uh, 552 into the UM46. So we could actually do a uh, AB comparison. And again, the UM46 is set to record at line levels, uh, accepting the signal from the uh, sound devices. It was night again. The Waystone Inn lay in silence, and it was a silence of three parts. It was night again. The Waystone Inn lay in silence, and it was a silence of three parts. The most obvious part was a hollow, echoing quiet, made by things that were lacking. If there had been a wind, it would have sighed through the trees, set the inn sign creaking on its hooks, and brushed the silence down the road like trailing autumn leaves. The most obvious part was a hollow, echoing quiet, made by things that were lacking. If there had been a wind, it would have sighed through the trees, set the inn sign creaking on its hooks, and brushed the silence down the road like trailing autumn leaves. If there had been a crowd, even a handful of men inside the inn, they would have filled the silence with conversation and laughter, the clatter and clamor one expects from a drinking house during the dark hours of night. If there had been a crowd, even a handful of men inside the inn, they would have filled the silence with conversation and laughter, the clatter and clamor one expects from a drinking house during the dark hours of the night if there had been music. But no, of course there was no music. In fact, there were none of these things, and so the silence remained. If there had been music. But no, of course there was no music. In fact, there were none of these things, and so the silence remained. Now, on my editing system, I can hear a fairly distinct difference between the audio recorded on uh, sound devices versus the audio recorded directly in camera. And this, of course, we would all expect because, uh, you know, these recorders, uh, when they were new, they cost almost as much as this camera. Um, and you more or less get what you pay for. But the question is, if you're streaming this on YouTube or Vimeo, how much of a difference can you hear? And the question, of course, is how much of a difference can our audience hear and the programs that we, uh, that we generate? And you know, quite often this comes down to a budget question of what type of gear do you own, what type of gear do you rent, um, how many people do you hire for your productions. But um, again, just listening uh, with uh, studio headphones and studio monitors on my editing system to the original sound files, uh, I could just describe, you know, I'll just describe the sound difference and that is with the camera, there was definitely a noticeable, uh, noticeably noisier floor, sound floor. Um, there's just a bit more hiss that was elevated over the sound devices recording. Um, but apart from the noise level, the, the main, other main difference I would describe is that the, the sound devices, the sound just sounds, it just sounds um, fuller and richer. Um, in video terms, I would say, you know, the difference in an image between an 8-bit image and maybe a 12, 14, or 16-bit image, the, the higher bit depth. The, the colors, it just looks um, deeper, richer, and more vibrant. And again, I would describe the sound as looking, you know, sounding deeper, richer, and more lively from the recorder as opposed to recording directly in camera. And you know, it is granted a fairly subtle thing, but it's definitely noticeable. So what we're going to do now is listen to uh, the sound that was recorded um, again on the recorder and also in camera, but the sound that was recorded via the uh, line level out from the mixer into the camera, uh, thereby, thereby bypassing the mic preamps on the camera. So let's listen to that difference. It was night again. The Waystone Inn lay in silence, and it was a silence of three parts. The most obvious part was a hollow, echoing quiet, made by things that were lacking. 
If there had been a wind, it would have sighed through the trees, set the inn sign creaking on its hooks, and brushed the silence down the road like trailing autumn leaves. If there had been a crowd, even a handful of men inside the inn, they would have filled the silence with conversation and laughter, the clatter and clamor one expects from a drinking house during the dark hours of night. If there had been music. But no, of course there was no music. In fact, there were none of these things. And so the silence remained. And so the silence remained. When listening to the original sound files on the uh, edit system, I can definitely hear a difference in the uh, quality of the sound that the camera is recording, all dependent on which preamps are being used, whether it's the uh, built-in mic preamps on the camera or it's the preamps on the 552. Now, you know, that again is what you would expect. Um, and from what I read online, a lot of people are adding mixers and different recorders as part of their basic uh, sound recording package when using this camera. But of course, you know, these sound device mixers, they're, they're great. They're uh, really the industry standard, uh, but they are not inexpensive. And uh, you may be wondering, well, what would a much more frugal solution sound like? So what I've decided to do is I'm going to uh, test my old uh, Tascam DR70D uh, four channel recorder. And this was uh, originally, I believe, designed for uh, DSLRs and the like. Um, and again, we're gonna read the same passage and compare the sound quality. It was night again. The Waystone Inn lay in silence, and it was a silence of three parts. It was night again. The Waystone Inn lay in silence, and it was a silence of three parts. The most obvious part was a hollow, echoing quiet made by things that were lacking. The most obvious part was a hollow, echoing quiet made by things that were lacking. If there had been a wind, it would have sighed through the trees, set the signs in creaking on its hooks, and brushed the silence down the road like trailing autumn leaves. If there had been a wind, it would have sighed through the trees, set the inn sign creaking on its hooks, and brushed the silence down the road like trailing autumn leaves. If there had been a crowd, even a handful of men inside the inn, they would have filled the silence with conversation and laughter, the clatter and clamor one expects from a drinking house during the dark hours of night. If there had been a crowd, even a handful of men inside the inn, they would have filled the silence with conversation and laughter, the clatter and clamor one expects from a drinking house during the dark hours of the night. If there had been music, but no, of course there was no music. In fact, there were none of these things. If there had been music, but no, of course there was no music. In fact, there were none of these things. And so the silence remained. And so the silence remained. Now, once again, when I listen to the original sound files on my edit system, I definitely prefer the sound of the uh, coming out of a little Tascam unit over sound recorded directly uh, to the camera with the camera's uh, mic preamps. And it's for the same reasons, again. Uh, the noise floor is lower, so it's a little bit cleaner. And the sound, the quality of the sound is a little bit brighter. Uh, a little bit brighter, a little livelier with the Tascam as compared to directly on camera. Now, having said that, um, to my surprise, I think the sound out of uh, recorded directly in camera really isn't that bad, and it's it's totally usable. If the uh, you know if the noise bothers you, you could always run a little bit of noise reduction through your sound files, and that should clean them up very nicely. Um, and it's certainly convenient not to have a lot of uh, you know extra gack hanging off the camera or plugged into the camera. Uh, now, this little unit is probably small enough that I could probably rig you know someplace on the camera with a little bit of planning. And it's certainly, uh, it's certainly beneficial to use an external mixer, um, either you know a professional unit like sound devices or even a small unit like this Tascam. And the reason is that both these units, they have uh, limiters on them and they also have low pass filters. This particular unit can do uh, dual recording. It can record uh, channels, two channels at one level and two additional channels um, identical channels at a higher or lower level depending on how you set it up. And this guy will also do a line level out. You just need a uh, little mini jack going to XLR um, if you want to feed a signal directly into the camera. Now again, I did this test just for myself. I just needed to, to verify and learn a little bit more about the audio recording capabilities of the uh, Ursa Mini 4.6. And I highly recommend that you always do your own test and evaluate equipment uh, so that they meet your needs and your budget. And that's about it. It was night again. The Waystone Inn lay in silence, and it was a silence of three parts. The most obvious part was a hollow, echoing quiet made by things that were lacking. 
If there had been a wind, it would have sighed through the trees, set the inn sign creaking on its hooks, and brushed the silence down the road like trailing autumn leaves. If there had been a crowd, even a handful of men inside the inn, they would have filled the silence with conversation and laughter, the clatter and clamor one expects from a drinking house during the dark hours of the night. If there had been music, but no, of course there was no music. In fact, there were none of these things, and so the silence remained. It was night again. The Waystone Inn lay in silence, and it was a silence of three parts. The most obvious part was a hollow, echoing quiet, made by things that were lacking. If there had been a wind, it would have sighed through the trees, set the inn sign creaking on its hooks, and brushed the silence down the road like trailing autumn leaves. If there had been a crowd, even a handful of men inside the inn, they would have filled the silence with conversation and laughter, the clatter and clamor one expects from a drinking house during the dark hours of night. If there had been music, but no, of course there was no music. In fact, there were none of these things, and so the silence remained. It was night again. The Waystone Inn lay in silence, and it was a silence of three parts. The most obvious part was a hollow, echoing quiet, made by things that were lacking. If there had been a wind, it would have sighed through the trees, set the inn sign creaking on its hooks, and brushed the silence down the road like trailing autumn leaves. If there had been a crowd, even a handful of men inside the inn, they would have filled the silence with conversation and laughter, the clatter and clamor one expects from a drinking house during the dark hours of night. If there had been music, but no, of course there was no music. In fact, there were none of these things, and so the silence remained. It was night again. The Waystone Inn lay in silence, and it was a silence of three parts. The most obvious part was a hollow, echoing quiet made by things that were lacking. If there had been a wind, it would have sighed through the trees, set the signs in creaking on its hooks, and brushed the silence down the road like trailing autumn leaves. If there had been a crowd, even a handful of men inside the inn, they would have filled the silence with conversation and laughter, the clatter and clamor one expects from a drinking house during the dark hours of night. If there had been music, but no, of course there was no music. In fact, there were none of these things, and so the silence remained.